So this is the first time of the Pass It On campaign and I can't believe that it's actually here. We've been talking about it for years now. I know whenever I first really got into the outdoor industry, I always wanted to take new people and just pass on my love and passion for the outdoors to other people. And I've been mentioning it like throughout the years and just never really had a plan in place. And then last year, whenever I came out to the Hargrove Ranch with Craig, he was like, you need to start bringing more kids because I brought one last year, but it was just a family friend. And he was like, you need to bring a kid out here every single year. And so me and James have been talking about it. We've been praying about it. And this year we teamed up with 10 Point. They were like, let's get a kid to go on a hunt with you. I was like, wow, this is actually coming together. So we got um, the game plan going on how to, for kids to be able to enter. We came up with the whole campaign and we really, it really came to life like in August and September whenever we had really been talking about it and then to see all of the submissions coming in was just insane. I really didn't know what to expect because it was the first time I'd ever done it, but just to see how many kids were so eager and passionate and excited to get into the outdoors really made my heart happy and sad because I could only pick one person and that was probably one of the hardest decisions I had to do. After reading so many essays, of course, I had some favorites and ones that really stuck out. They told me like personal stories and Maddie's was one of those. Some of the experiences she's gone through, I could relate to and I just feel like she was very willing to learn and excited to learn more about the outdoors and I thought that we could definitely have a bond. Bringing her on the first trip, I felt comfortable having her here and so whenever I reached out to Katie for the first time, I told her, I was like, don't tell her yet. I still want it to be a surprise. And um, the day that I announced it is the day that I actually FaceTimed Maddie for the first time. She had no idea that it was going to happen. And so I could tell she was really excited. So I'm really glad that she got to come. It's the third pin on that one, right? Yeah. Okay, so if you were dialed in exactly at 30 yards using that second pin and the third pin, you're dialed in straight at 45 yards. So if, I mean, you're maybe still a little inch high, but I mean, that is still going to hit the vitals. But if you're going to be shooting it, say your shot's like 35 yards, then I would just use that second pin and maybe put it like an inch or two higher than right where you want to shoot it. Cause that's still going to drop a little bit, but good shooting girlfriend. on Facebook so I actually um, saw the post um, I've, I've talked to Maddie a little bit about Kendall just seeing different things that she posts so I always say hey Maddie come check this out and I'll show her and whenever I seen the contest um, I told Maddie to write an essay and at first she's like I don't think I'm gonna do that I'm like come on just do it just just humor me and do it so and then we submitted it and then a couple weeks later she told me that I had to be home by a certain time so we could like watch the um, live and then I was like doubting it like the whole time not thinking I would win or anything but she was just like no it's fine like come on and like I she recorded me whenever she went through the live and I got a FaceTime and I started freaking out a little bit because I was like and the, the thing was glitching so I couldn't really hear her at all but when I got the FaceTime it was Kendall and I was just very excited and then my aunt was excited and I couldn't encourage um, kids more to get out there out in the outdoors and hunting. I think what Kendall is doing with her um, Pass It On campaign is amazing. And for all the kids and parents out there, if she ever, ha if she ever has a contest again, don't think that it's not going to happen because that's exactly what Maddie and I thought was going to happen, that there's not a chance in the world it was going to happen. And here we are in Texas having an amazing experience.
I thought Kendall was gonna be like very like uptight, not uptight. Wait, I don't want to use that. <laughs> I want yeah, I'm getting better. I don't need you in my life, anyways. Thank you. Um, hey guys, it's Kendall. I am doing a cooking show now. Most of y'all have never seen me in the kitchen because it's the first time I've ever been in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> I thought she was gonna be like more like strict, like whenever it came to hunting and like very serious. But she was actually very nice and kind and sweet and like actually really goofy and fun to be around. And it was very fun. I didn't get to see it yet, but she said she can do a round off back handspring. Kind of excited to see that if she does it. And since Kendall was more laid back, it made me feel like more comfortable and to be around. And I wasn't like, I was shy at the beginning, but like I think I'm starting to come around a little bit more. And it's just really sweet and nice and kind. Buck fever, no fever, I guess. <laughs> I get like that too. I'm like, ah. that's awesome though. We got all the jitters out, so hopefully, last chance tomorrow, we get buck down. Now you know what to do. Deep breaths, huh?
very nervous. Yeah, I was nervous. <laughs> I was shaking whenever I saw it. Were you shaking? Yeah. Was it bad? It wasn't bad, I was just very nervous. There was really no I don't know what to say. <laughs> fun getting to know Maddie and Katie. I think that Maddie has finally come out of her shell a little bit after spending a couple days with me. So I think that we'll definitely be staying in touch and hopefully I'll be able to follow along on her journey in the outdoors and her and Katie together. Katie is awesome. I am just so happy that Maddie has an aunt like Katie that is willing to step up during those hard times and she definitely has a special bond with Maddie so I can't wait to see what Maddie does in the future hopefully she continues her adventures in the outdoors Again, I just want to say thank you so much to Craig and Dave Archer for making this hunt possible and for 10 Point Crossbows for hooking my girl Maddie up with a brand new crossbow that she's going to be able to take home and hunt with for years to come and for Thorn Broadheads for providing us with the best broadheads. Um, so I'll be sending some of those home with Maddie and Katie as well. If you like what I'm doing and support this campaign of Pass It On, I would highly encourage you take a kid out, take someone out new into the outdoors, post a picture, tag it with Pass It On, and I also have some merch little shameless plug right here that 20% of all the proceeds of this collection is going to go to doing more trips like this and getting in creating opportunities for kids to be able to get in the outdoors. So go check it out. I'll post the link below and I will see y'all back here next time.